The latest Nintendo Direct had tons for Nintendo fans, from Link's Awakening to Mario Maker. But there was one big surprise among the lot. Astral Chain, a brand new IP from Platinum Games. Not only was this our first look at the game, but we found out that it's only six months away. And with the trailer going by so fast, we turned to the old analysis machine to find out what secrets and hidden details the trailer might be hiding. So according to the Platinum Games website, Astral Chain takes place in a massive, multicultural city called The Ark. And we actually get a reference to that in the trailer. As the main protagonist makes their way through the city, a small sign reads, Ark, the future, union, one world, one mankind. So it seems this cyberpunk-inspired city has taken strives to be at peace. But one day, dimensional gates begin to appear, bringing dangerous enemy creatures to the Ark to attack the people and corrupt the land. This is where the two rookie twin protagonists come in. Ark has an elite police squad called Neuron, which again, we see several references to in the trailer. What makes Neuron so special though, is they fight with their own kind of beings named Legions. The twist in Astral Chain is you take control of two characters at once. Not the two twins, but rather one of the twins and their Legion. Though more on that later. So the site tells us we'll be able to choose between either of the two twins and the other will appear alongside us as our strongest squad mate. That said, we also get a glimpse of a far more varied lineup of Neuron officers. We'll most likely encounter these guys throughout the story, but whether they hold any gameplay purpose, we can't say for sure just yet. Heck, we don't even see the two twins together during gameplay. With that said though, the official Nintendo website lists the game as supporting up to two players. Is it possible the two twins can play alongside each other via co-op? Or does the second player simply take control of the Legion? We can't say for sure just yet, and it may even be side content like in Bayonetta 2. So let's dive into the trailer. We begin with a helicopter flying over the Ark. Is the city always walled off like this, or is it in containment to prevent the alien threat? Probably not seeming as they're travelling through portals, but it's possible. We see a Neuron helicopter fly over the city, and we know this belongs to Neuron as 1. It shares a similar colour scheme to all the other Neuron branded assets, and 2. It shares a recurring Neuron logo. We believe the helicopter is carrying a Neuron squad as they make their way towards the crime scene, but it's possible that the twins are already on the job. We can see a few frames here with the camera panning towards the highway, and then it cuts to the next scene where the twins are already on the job. Both scenes have a tunnel behind them, so we believe this is the same place. This is one of the few times where we see the twins together, so it's possible this takes place right at the start of the game, and we get to decide who we want to take control of for the remainder of the story. Both twins seem to come with the exact same abilities. They both have radio receivers, they both have baton looking weapons, and they both have guns. The logo on their arm though is very different to all the other Neuron logos. Perhaps this is a sign of their rank? It's a little hard to say just yet. It's also important to note that they both have handcuffs on their left hand, and this is about to come into play. An alien spawns out of the portal in front of them, and the two twins attach these transport-looking objects onto their handcuffs. These share the same logo as the helicopter, and later Neuron HQ, so they're seemingly Neuron-owned. Doing this summons their legions to fight alongside them. Now, we've spoken about legions a fair bit, but what actually are they? Well, this takes some theorizing, but it doesn't look like the aliens and the legions are all that distant from each other. Both appear from very similar data-looking portals, they both have colourful glowing eyes, and even have several design similarities to one another. It may even be possible that aliens and legions are the exact same thing. Everything's kind of pointing towards legions somewhat being your prisoners. They're summoned to your handcuffs, their necks are restricted, they're connected to you via a chain, and they're branded in neuron armour. In fact, at the end of the trailer, we even see a legion break free from their handcuffs. Either they're prisoners to neuron, or someone has corrupted them to fight against the resistance of Ark. Legions are a key part of combat in Astral Chain, and you'll seemingly be able to switch between the officer and the Legion on the fly. We see several instances where a marker shifts from character to character. But what's the purpose? Well, let's take a look at the very first fight scene. The officer and Legion are taking on a shielded enemy, so attacking them from the front seems futile. So what happens here is the officer boosts towards the alien, slides around it, and starts attacking it head on. Meanwhile, the Legion attacks from the side, putting the alien in a stunned state. It seems the Legion will attack automatically while playing as the officer, as we see no shift in control here. You may also notice that the officer is attacking with what appears to be a sword rather than a baton. It seems your weapon will adapt at several points over combat. Also, your hair glows blue when your Legion's out. I guess the two have a rather strong connection. With the enemy stunned, the officer kicks it up into the air, and we see a small glow for a few frames. When this happens, the Legion comes to her side. We see yet another glow, and she launches it towards the alien. Do these glows signify some kind of special move, or is it a way of calling your Legion to your side? However it works, the second glow is followed up with a cinematic team attack. There's a lot more you can do with your Legion though, as in the next scene we see a male officer shooting an alien from long range. But as it comes closer, he summons his Legion, and uses the chain on the handcuffs to throw it at the alien. Why didn't he have his legion out to begin with though? Can we only have them out for a certain amount of time, or do they only appear when enemies are within close proximity? 
That's not all we can do with the handcuff chain though, as it actually seems highly dynamic. In the next scene, the player is clearly controlling the Legion, as shown by the marker, and they're kind of pulling off a Star Wars walker manoeuvre on this alien. Once the chain's wrapped around it, the Legion and the officer unite, which imprisons the alien and causes a cinematic team attack. We then seem to be fighting some kind of flying alien, and as the two jump away, we see the same two flash combo from before. It really does seem like the first flash sinks the two together, while the second one performs a special attack. It looks like the two characters combine their powers together to form some kind of energy bow which vaporises the alien. We then see one of the twins riding a bike as two flying aliens pursue. We know this isn't the same highway scene as the tunnel, as it says 93km, whereas the first read 102, so this takes place later on, travelling through the city. We actually appear to get an extension of this scene just a couple of clips later, and while it doesn't show a great deal more, we do wonder if this will transition into a playable chase scene. After all, it does appear we'll be able to ride our bike during actual gameplay. Now you're probably wondering at this point if Astral Chain is a linear or open game, as everything shown up until this point has been fairly closed off. But the next few scenes put that assumption into question. This central city area pops up a lot over the course of the trailer and screenshots. We have this overview shot here, one by the diner over here, one on the opposite side of the street by the subway, and a screenshot somewhat mirroring the initial shot but with what appears to be our motorbike parked on the street. So what this tells us is we're able to travel around this entire square. But are there limitations? For instance, there's a hologram displaying the temperature at 23 degrees Celsius, but are we able to run through this hologram, or is this an invisible wall? After all, a similar one appears across the street. Perhaps there's a key path we have to take to explore the city. It also appears there isn't a great deal to see at the very end of the street, so it's likely we'll go a specific way. From what we can gather, Astral Chain will have a decent amount of exploration, but this is by no means an open world game, as police officers will tackle side objectives like catching thieves, helping out lost kids, and picking up litter but we doubt these are mandatory tasks, especially the litter picking. In fact, Astral Chain seems to be a fairly seamless linear adventure, as the next scene shows us what first appears to be background material, with one of the twins overlooking a balcony where a neon sign reads District 5. I guess this means we'll be exploring multiple districts. Thanks to everyone on Twitter who translated that. But you may notice there's a staircase on the left, and attention to detail in general is perhaps a little too elaborate for background material. And that's because we actually go over there later in the trailer. We even see the very same neon sign, but a lot closer in action. In fact, we may have even been there before, as this area looks very similar too. We may even know how we get over there, as this screenshot shows a long bridge, likely connecting us from here to here. As we move forward, we appear to see a scripted event where a crime scene is reenacted. We don't think the player triggers this themselves, as we see no other instance of this throughout the trailer, so this probably just happens throughout the game. This may happen fairly early on in the game, as we seem to be moving towards fellow Neuron officers. Are we just learning about the invasion? In the next scene, we see a good boy tracking for clues. Now this is one of two legions we see in the trailer, but we do wonder if there'll be more in the game. Could we even capture aliens and convert them to legions? It's unclear what the dog's sniffing for, but there's a portal rupture right next to him, so perhaps he's trying to find a way to open the portal? Or even close it? We then get a couple of shots of characters. These two Neuron soldiers are seen in this screenshot and are likely our allies, but these two are a little more suspicious. They're likely in Neuron HQ with a giant Neuron logo behind them, but they aren't in uniform, and that's an evil smirk if I ever saw one. We then see the female protagonist seemingly prepare to ram her bike into a demon. She even speeds up right before jumping. Now this scene asks a few questions, so we're able to use stealth takedowns with our legions wrapping themselves around enemies, but get a good look at the enemy here. Are they part of Neuron? They've even got the same handcuffs, and similar uniform to the protagonists. So why are we taking them down? Heck, the helmet's even the same as the officer piloting the helicopter. Could it be that those officers we're walking towards earlier were also enemies? Or does something happen over the course of the story? And what happens if we're spotted? Will they fight us? Or will they even spawn their own legion? Both are rather likely. Either way, we see another up ahead, and it seems we can take them down if we keep following along this walkway. It also looks like the bow from the special move we saw earlier can be cast in a weaker form. Time doesn't appear to stop, and the animation is much quicker. Perhaps when we're not in a combat scenario we can use this at any point to solve puzzles, or maybe we still need to fill up some kind of gauge. Now ignore the giant monster for a second, because the red-haired guy looks a little familiar. In fact we may have even seen him in Neuron HQ. They even both have handcuffs. Whether he's actually working for Neuron or not is hard to say as he's not in the same uniform as the others, but they at least appear to be decked out in similar gear. Either way, the protagonist isn't fighting them, but that may be because there's much bigger issues at hand. But continue to ignore the giant monster, because this robot kind of came out of nowhere, right? Well, we actually got a tiny look at it earlier. As for what it is, we really don't know yet. But it's certainly a friendly device, as it appeared in a non-threatening scene earlier. Perhaps it will carry weapons, or maybe even give us upgrades. 
Anyways, now we can look at the giant alien. This thing's unlike any encounter thus far, but the eyes still have the same red glow as other enemies. Either it's just a much stronger, higher league alien, or it's a result of experiments. Either way, it's mahusive and can cling to walls, shoot giant lasers, and throw debris at you. This also shows us we can ride our legions. The wolf legion in particular seems really flexible. We haven't quite seen how far the mechanics of the other legion go yet. Whether the alien keeps its distance is unknown yet, but it seems the key to defeating it is to chain it up and use your combined powers to throw it at a wall. This isn't the last we see of the monster though, as the very same one appears again, and is certainly under the control of this woman. That said, it appears not the only ones who want it gone, as a mysterious character with the word Raven on their back attacks the creature too. Notice how he appears to be knocked out over here. Did we lose the fight? Everything about this Raven character mirrors that of a Neuron officer, from the same summoning gear, to the handcuff, to the Legion. But we're gonna go out on a whim and say they're probably not on our side, as their Legion is pure red, much like the aliens. So why are they attacking this alien? There's still a lot of unknowns with the story of Astral Chain, but I think it's fairly clear that Neuron's been compromised, or at the very least the Legions have. The twins say lines like, why did you make them? And of course we saw them attacking what appears to be Neuron officers. Are the antagonists also working for Neuron? Or do they have a different agenda? Either way, it looks like both the story and gameplay will be a ton of fun. It's still the same high action, high flare platinum combat, but with a hint more strategy with the multitasking of yourself and your legion. We can't wait to uncover more details as we get a better look at the game going forward. But how are you guys feeling about Astral Chain? Are there any details you found that we missed? Or did you interpret any of the events differently? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Astral Chain and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye. Dying on